What's going on, everybody? So, the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list is not out yet. As most of you guys already know, for you guys that did click the video, thanking the ban list drop, my bad. Didn't mean to clickbait y'all. But I needed to grab y'all attention to give you guys my opinions on what I think will happen on the next Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. Or what I think about the ban list in general. Because in all honesty, bro, like I get players are excited for a new list to come out because let's face fact that's the most fun we're gonna most of you guys are gonna get anyway with this whole crush card virus situation going around in the world people not being able to go to locals this is the hot topic on the street right now so i'm gonna hit it from three angles um talking about stuff that should get banned think talk about what i think is more than likely to get unbanned and talk about the obvious so with all the being said let's get into it without further ado Let's begin. Start out by saying stuff that should get banned. Or should anything get banned? And all honestly, like I said, well, a lot of people not being able to go to locals, the lack of big events. Nothing happening on the ban list is a popular opinion. The reason why it's a popular opinion is because let's face the fact, a lot of us are logical Yu-Gi-Oh players. We don't mind the format being crappy because most of us are playing at home anyway. The biggest argument that I've personally been saying is people were saying, well, Chris, you know, people like to play with their friends. They want to do things at home. And it's like, bro, if I want to do all that, I can just play on Dueling Book and get screwed over with the bad um, simulators by the drawing horrible hands. Like, if I want to do all that, I can just do that. But the fact still remains, man. A lot of us want a band list change, but I honestly could see nothing realistically happen. Um, as far as the band part, that is. It's very similar to last time, and that rubbed a lot of players the wrong way. Now, do I personally think this is going to happen? No, but is there a chance that that will happen? Yes. Now, as far as the unlimited part, I think it's completely random, of course. Um, I don't think Konami even plans out how they want the format, per se. I think they just roll the dice and see what happens. I think Snatch still is the greatest number of a card where... They thought, well, let's just see what happens if we take this off the list and immediately ban it because the cards just completely wrecked the format. Despite pro players in sad format saying the card was bad. And I was one of the very few YouTubers at the time. I think it was like, what, six years ago, preaching how good card Snatch still was. But nevertheless, Konami, I think they just completely gets it random when they come to stuff getting um uh, unbanned or unlimited, rather. But this time around, I think it might be different, right? As far as unban, I really think some insector stuff may come off the ban list. Reason being, they won that little creator card promotion. I think they're getting a starter deck soon. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Let me know. So I think insectors have a good chance of coming off the list from a logical standpoint. Now on that token as well, I can also see Konami unlimiting um, some other decks that are just not worth keeping on listing more great example wind ups and there's a deck from the insect era which is good i think chaos dragons can get some of their restrictions gone i think a lot of those decks that promote different style of gameplay will be good right now on konami's part simply due to the fact that we're probably not going to have events for like another year if you're really looking at it we might get regionals if we're lucky might that's a really big might and that's going to be a really big controversial pr move from konami but realistically speaking, we're probably not going to get a, a real big event to April, March of next year. So with that being said, a lot of us is going to have to be at Locals. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us don't want to play the same 5 or 8 decks or play against the same 5 or 8 decks at Locals. The boardman's going to kick in. I think it'll be smart for Konami to spice up the um, next couple formats, which is going to be like, what, 2 to 3 months, and give us an exciting list in conjunction to releasing better product to keep hype up for the game. And I know, honestly, off topic really fast, this is a prime time for Konami to start really focusing on like an online Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator. This is what happens, guys, when we don't have an online simulator that's not official from the company. I mean, yeah, they have Duel Links, that's cool. And yeah, we all have Dueling Book, which we love and enjoy. But the, with the fact that Konami don't have an online simulator with what's going on right now, they can't hold events worth running. Like, honestly, if they had an online simulator similar to Dueling Book, and if Konami does that, just, just give me a little credit, Konami. Just say, hey, we got it from this dude's channel. 
create an online simulator similar to Dueling Book, host your events with people um, playing their actual decks on there, and it'll incentivize people to go out and play real Yu-Gi-Oh! And then once this whole worldwide situation gets lifted, run two separate events in conjunction on the same day. Half of the people could do the events at home, the other half could do it at, on the actual tournament floor, and have specific events like nationals and worlds make you have to go indoors to do those events. I think that'd be a big step in the right direction for Konami. But are they gonna do it? There's a lot of things they have to get approved for that. And knowing how people in Japan are, that's probably not gonna happen. And the reason why I said knowing how people in Japan are, they're really strict with how they do things. And you have to get a lot of things approved and getting things approved out there. The Japanese, as a culture, which is nothing wrong with it, of course, they're just really particular about those type of things. Now, I'm gonna state the obvious right now. Cars that should get banned, um, Kristan Needle Fiber, man, the car is toxic. It promotes toxicity in the game. Literally, people come back off of that car and win. Am I one of those guys to say, oh my god, it ruined the format, oh my god. No, Nintendo's car is other than that that ruined the format. That Link Star crop that makes tokens, that hurts the format. O-Lion hurts the format. But guess what? It all leads down to Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber is one of those cars that just ban it. It's a problem card. Every player agrees that card is a problem. I don't think nobody would be mad if the card gets banned. I got one just in case it don't get banned for I can sell it. But no, honestly, if it gets banned, I'm not gonna care. Like I really don't care. Um, Block Dragon, I can see that getting banned. The card is just way too powerful for what it is. Um, it makes the deck that it goes in. And honestly, it's just, I'm not even gonna say it's toxic because the, the rock little um, Master Raider deck that Block Dragon is abusing is really good, but considering I'm playing a, a rogue deck like Heroes that can utilize Master of Dark Law, me as a player person don't care. And everyone who's playing meta, they really shouldn't care about Emancipator anyway, because Eldritch is this is dirty. Um, let's see what else. Well, I can't think of the deck name right now. I am really bad at remembering stuff when I'm trying to do videos. I can think of the name with most of the deck. The deck that plays the car called Multifair. I can't think of the name to save my freaking life. The trap heavy deck, that deck is really good. Like, there are so many good decks that can beat Emancipator. Like, I don't think Black Dragons that an issue. I think pit him to one. Put him to one, see where he's at, but I can see him getting banned as well. And of course, the obvious Mystic Mind. I've been preaching for much to mind to get banned for a while, and I don't think it's gonna happen because, let's face the fact, the deck has been around at three forever, and there's many different mind decks like Zodia Mind, most popular mind decks are just OTK decks and etc. Mystic Mind is just a good utilization card, but at the same time, I just personally feel like it promotes toxic gameplay in a sense where it just, you play it, you can't play you get until you get rid of it. Like, it's just dumb. Like, I think cards like that shouldn't exist in the game. But that's just a personal opinion. I don't think it's gonna get banned, but it should get banned. But in all honesty, hit the Needle Fiber, hit the Block Dragon, and we're good to go. But like I said, man, more than likely, I think Insectors are gonna get um, unlifted off the next list. And everything else is completely random, because that's face to fact. Konami doesn't always do things based off of logic. It's also it's always usually based off money. And sometimes it's just I feel like it's just completely random. Just give the players what they feel is the best for the game and they just go from there. But hey man, this is just some random dude in this fucking ba grandma's basement. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here and subscribe for more. This is your boy Rogue Hero and I'm signing out, man. Peace and stay in a bit of deuces.